Welcome to WatchMojo.com, I'm your host Ashkan, and we continue our series on some of the most successful companies in the world. Today we take a look at the Coca-Cola company. Coca-Cola, headquartered out in Atlanta, Georgia, it is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500. Now, Coca-Cola is one of the largest manufacturers, distributors, and marketers of non-alcoholic concentrates and syrups around the world. But of course, it's best known for its flagship product, Coca-Cola. The product today we recognize as Coca-Cola can trace its roots back to pharmacist John Pemberton, who launched a coca wine called Pemberton's French Wine Coca in 1884. By 1885, Atlanta and Fulton County passed prohibition legislation, which meant that Pemberton decided to leave the cocaine content intact, but he decided to launch a non-alcoholic version of the French wine cola. The name Coca-Cola itself was coined by Frank Mason Robinson. In 1887, as Pemberton was suffering from morphine addiction, he decided to sell a stake of his company, and that's when the Coca-Cola Corporation was actually incorporated. Today, Coca-Cola is synonymous with marketing and advertising as one of the largest in the world. But did you know that Coca-Cola first ran an advertisement on May 29, 1886, when Pemberton promoted in the Atlanta Journal, Coca-Cola's ability to cure headaches and migraines. Coca-Cola's difficulty in reaching its consumers under Nazi Germany rule led to the creation of the company Fanta. Now, when the US decided to enter World War II, that's when Coca-Cola began to supply soldiers with its beverages. When the war was over and the soldiers returned home, they had developed a taste and affinity for the beverage, and that's what led to the explosion in market share for Coca-Cola in the second half of the 20th century. Coca-Cola is a truly global brand. 27% of its sales come from the US, 27% come from Mexico, Brazil, Japan, and China, and 46% are spread out throughout the world. Now, over 50 billion beverages are served each day. That includes tea, water, coffee, cola, whatever. 1.3 billion each day are Coca-Cola products. When one hears of Coca-Cola, they naturally think of Pepsi-Cola, its competitor. While Coca-Cola has decided to focus mainly on beverages, drinks, syrups, and concentrates, Pepsi has actually had a more diversified strategy of owning fast food restaurants, snacks, as well as beverages. While each company has had different degrees of success at different periods, Coca-Cola has far exceeded Pepsi's track record, so it can be argued that the strategy of focusing on beverages and drinks alone has proven to be the winner. As one of the more successful corporations around, Coca-Cola has been a very good corporate citizen on many fronts. It has helped with charitable donations. It has helped quite a bit in terms of HIV and AIDS research, particularly on the African continent. And it has done quite a bit to promote diversity, particularly given its base in Atlanta, Georgia. Of course, like all other successful corporations, Coca-Cola has had its share of criticism. And those include human rights violations, monopolistic and discriminatory practices, interactions with Nazi Germany during World War II, the Middle East and US foreign policy and the implications of doing business with Israel, environmental issues in India, pesticides showing up in their products, overuse of local water supplies in some locations. But some would say that, you know what, it's simply a company with products that billions of consumers love, and the company will simply stop at nothing to getting those products in their consumers' hands. That has been Coca-Cola's 10 things to know about.